Pisces. Remember, I'm a Pisces moon. Let's see what we get for your career in finance for September 2021. I'm just shuffling yet as we're talking. If you see, I, I accidentally caught my, my, my area on fire. I had a, um, a piece of um, burning sage in here. It fell down when I was gone and I thought it was out. It burned a hole. I got to get a new one now. It's okay though. We'll be all right. So let's see what we get. Justice. Ooh. That's my favorite card after the star. Mm, getting your wish, which has to do with justice for the change. Somebody might be going to court. There might be something financial where there is a court settlement or a court date involved for some of you. Some other ones... Something's coming back from your past. You want to know if it's going to be fair and honest and in your favor. Now, like I said, the justice, so you understand that justice card is about justice. So you can be, like I said, you can be in court. But it's also about you. Fair and honest and in your favor. That's what the justice card represents. Okay? So you're wanting fairness in something. And there's something from your past coming back. Okay, maybe it's a job offer. Maybe it's it's something that let me give you another card about it. It's a message, it has to do with a message coming. Okay, so you're waiting to hear about something, and it's a creative message. I want to say it's written, possibly text, but a lot of times it's written, emailed, or something like that. Okay, you're trying to cut yourself loose from something, and you've got a choice that has to be made. You're not really apprehensive about what's going on. It's like you know instinctively something is going on, where there maybe has a choice to be made. Maybe there's something of that nature. But there's something, and, and involving something that you want. So it's a wish, a walking away. And you've won the battle, but not the war. So they're kind of warning you, too. Just don't be smug. Be nice. Because something's going your way. And you're causing it. You're creating it. Okay, that's what this means. That, you know, and, and it's the start of something. Now, your hopes, your fears, your dreams. You're juggling money. You're juggling time. Time is money. Money is time. Something you're afraid about juggling something. So maybe you're going to take a job. Maybe that could be one that you have to work two jobs at the same time could be something like that and if you're you're you are transforming yourself notice that this card that's gabriel blowing his horn and what this card's really about is about people you know rising from the dead in part of part of the revelations in the bible and you're becoming a new person you're becoming whole and it has something divinely being sent to you. Now, there is a change here. This is the card of change. That means it's a change. Not as much as this, not as much as this tower card. But it's a change. And here we go. We've got another one card. So there's something emotional being, coming, being brought to you. And you're waiting for that ship to come in. You're waiting for planning to go on. So maybe there's, through the month, this month somewhere, you got a new job offer. Because look at that's the luck card. Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. This has been heavenly sent to you. So there is an offer, an opportunity. There is something going on. And you're wondering if it's going to work out in your favor. Something from your past. And I am telling you, it will. Because it is your wish. Okay? You also got a couple people involved. Now, it's very interesting. Now, this card can represent you using your intuition and doing a time of healing. But it also can represent a Cancer, a uh, Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Could be you. Could be you, yeah. And there's a King of Pentacles also. Now, I want to tell you, there's a King of Pentacles and there's a Queen of Pentacles. And I'm going to tell you when they're that close together, you may very well be involved in some type of twin flame, twin soul, deep, deep, deep soulmate type connection. Because remember, these two cards 
are the perfect match for each other, right? There might be something, somebody coming in that it could even be from your past, the person with an offer. Now, I'm not saying this is love, but could this be a job offer, a business offer? It's something to do with finances and career. Maybe they want to say, hey, you know what? Let's save money. Why don't we, we move in together? We've known each other for a while. Or I used to love you a long time ago. We were together. Here I come again. Okay? See, that's financial. But there's something going on this month that's financial. And it's an offer. And it's something that you really have wanted for a long time, as long as you can remember. And it is a decision that you must grapple with. Okay? So, with that said, I'm going to shuffle these other moonologies. I love these moonology cards. They are just so fun. I do put, put different decks. And by the way, I've been telling every single person, uh, reader, this week, this month, the Oracle decks are the exact same thing as a tarot deck. And I had somebody, what's the difference? They're, they're the same thing. Oracle decks are simpler. That's all. Tarot decks have like layers and layers of thousands of years of, of meaning. The number means something. The zodiac, all of the, the pictures, even down to the colors, it means things. The numbers you can count. As a matter of fact, on my Patreon, that I'm, if you want to join my Patreon, I'm, I'm teaching Carol, Carol cards right now, live, where you can join me. And I'm teaching you about how to count numbers. That's probably my, after I'm, I'm teaching right now the Major Arcana, and after that I will be teaching how to, if I've got three threes, that probably means three, it's three weeks, three months, it, it's something like that, three days. When there's two threes, it means something else. See what I'm saying? There is a definite pattern in that. Yes, it does work. As a medium who's been doing this 25 years, I don't need cards. So I can tell people when things will happen. But I, for people who are learning tarot, it's really important to understand those numbers. So, okay. Because see, look, at, we have a three here. We have a three here. That right there is three weeks. So something significant the third week of September. See what I'm saying? All right. So let's go to the monology. You are good enough. You must be having self-esteem issues. You know how we're too hard on ourselves, Pisces. I'm, I'm way too hard on myself. I'm so critical. I'm so critical. Oh, terrible. And that's a Pisces thing. Confidence is your key to success. Fake it till you make it. I got somebody that yelled at me about that. I'm like, it, fake it till you make it. Well, all that means is if you say something enough, if you think something enough, it happens. It's same thing as manifest. Fake it means, you know, if you think you're confident, you know you're not, act it. If you act confident long enough, you will be. That simple. You're very close to achieving that goal you're wanting. You're so close. You're so close. Meditate and contemplate. That means just... I do all my meditation, and I, I've told people that on my podcast, when I'm doing my, my predictions, my predictions, because I'm shocked that they're so accurate, but I'm, they're not me. They're coming from a woman who wears a, la a long, she's got a white robe and a blue cloak around her head. I'm told it's Mother Mary. She said she was Mother Mary, so it's Mother God. So, yeah, that's what I get when I meditate. I get answers from them, you know. Nothing will come out of this situation. Means nothing bad is going to come out of any of this. So if you make that change, which, you know, maybe you're going to take the bull by the horns and make your choice. And maybe you're like, I've decided this month I'm going to look for a new job. I haven't done it yet. There's a change in my mindset. Or maybe there is an actual change. Maybe it does happen in this month. But there's a change within me that leads to all of this. And that's where that judgment card comes from. And you got luck on your side. I'm going to tell you right now. The, from now until December, Leo, we're in Leo is in Saturn. I am telling you, you can't do any wrong. Go play the lotto. I am not kidding you, especially if you are Sagittarius. Sagittarius are, Sagittarius are unusually lucky. I am a Sag son. I have watched three people I've read for. One just won a $500 scratch ticket, and the other one won $20,000 on a scratch ticket. It's just, and it, it's just been crazy. Um, I have a video I'm going to be posting that happened to me when I was in Florida, and it was hilarious. And I probably should be sharing it on my podcast. But um, it was just phenomenal what happened. 
anyway, just keep watching. A new romantic cycle begins. Now, see what I'm saying? There could be romance involved in this. Very much so. But I also want you to understand that rom when romance also means when you fall in love with your job. So fall in love with the situation. I kind of want to, I still want to say there's a little bit of love somehow involved in this. So somebody might be coming back in your life with an offer, with a bot, with a maybe a job offer, a business offer, something of that nature. It's up to you how you want to do it. But everything, all the energy is saying, go for it. You got something you wanted for a very long time. Okay, because this is the wish card, wish being granted. Okay. Blessings to everybody. I will be bringing you back your personal relationship reading real soon. And before I go, I'm, I've been, I found this thing. I just love it. And I'm just, a thought for the day is be bold. Be bold. All right. Blessings to all you guys.